you all keeping well? Good to see you again. Last week we started talking about Thanksgiving and uh, saying thank you to God for everything that he's done, such as King Hezekiah did when he had a seven day long party to say thank you to God. So we're going to carry on talking about giving thanks, even when it's difficult to give thanks. When, when I tell you the news story today. Hello! Hello! Hello everyone! Hey, who are you? What happened to Stripey the singing sock? Oh, Stripey! Stripey's my brother! I love my brother, but he has gone on holiday today, so I'm here instead. I can also sing. Do you want to hear me sing? Do you want to hear me sing? Okay, what are you going to sing for us? Praise him, praise him, praise him in the morning, praise him in the noontime, praise him, praise him, praise him when the sun goes down. Love him, love him, love him in the morning, love him in the noontime, love him. Oh, that was a cool song. Thanks. What, what was your name? I'm Selena, the singing sock, the sister of Stripey. Oh, well, nice to meet you, Selena. Are you going to listen to the story or you're going to fall asleep like your brother Stripey does? Um, I'd like to help with the story. What story are we doing? Is it about Jesus? Is it about Moses? I know lots of stories. I can help you with the story. Well, the story today is actually about Daniel. Do you know about Daniel? Oh, I don't know the Daniel story. What happens in the Daniel story? Is it scary? Is it romantic? What happens? What happens? Well, if you let me tell the story, then you can find out. Okay. Well, Daniel actually reminds me of that song you were singing. You said, praise him in the morning, praise him in the evening, praise him when the sun goes down. Yes, that's, that's what I said. That's what I said. Well, Daniel used to pray to God in the morning, in the middle of the day. And when the sun went down, he prayed to God three times a day. Wow, he really liked praying. Where did he go to pray? Did he hide in his room? No, Daniel used to stand out on his balcony and pray where everyone could see him. Wow. Well, that was fine, except that Daniel was living in Babylon and he was a good friend with King Darius. And King Darius had seen how hard Daniel worked and how honest he was. Mm -hmm. And so he put Daniel in charge of lots of things, in charge of lots of leaders. Problem with that was that the other leaders got jealous and they thought, oh, we have to catch Daniel out. We have to see when he's doing something wrong and then we can get him arrested and thrown in jail. And so they went to watch him. And they watched him in the day, in the middle of the day, and in the evening, and they never caught him doing anything wrong. He didn't a, disobey a single law. Not even one. Not even one. And so what they did notice was that Daniel used to pray three times a day. Just like I was saying about just now, he prayed three times a day. Wow. Yes, you said that. Three times a day. And so the jealous leaders thought, oh, let's make a law that you're not allowed to pray to anyone except the king. And so they wrote out a new law and they took it to the king and they said, we have a new law for you to sign. And all the leaders of the land agree with it, which was a bit of a lie, actually. But King Darius didn't read properly what the new law was. He just signed it. And the new law said that if anybody praise to anybody except for the king they can be arrested and thrown into a pit of hungry lions ah, that's so scary that's so scary hungry lions oh no oh no 
calm down. It's okay, Selena. It's okay. Listen to the rest of the story. Okay. Well, you would expect that once Daniel heard about this law, that he would hide away and pray where nobody could see him. But that wasn't what happened. Daniel decided praying was so important that he was going to carry on doing it on his balcony where everybody could see three times a day. So in a short period of time, the leaders had arrested Daniel for praying to God and not just to the king. And they took him to King Darius and said to King Darius, this man has been seen praying to his God and not just to you. And so he must be thrown into the pit of the lions. But, but King Darius was Daniel's friend. So he, he just probably said, no, don't worry, this is my friend. Don't worry. Mm -mm. That's not what happened in those days when the king made a law. Even the king couldn't disobey it. He had to stick to the law. <gasps> Yep, King Darius was very upset, but he had to throw King had to throw obey his law and throw Daniel to the lions, even though he really didn't want to. And he said to Daniel, "I hope that your Lord, that you've been praying to your God, saves you from the lions." And so he threw him into the pit of the lions. Ah! And what happened then? What happened then? Well, amazing thing happened. Angels came and shut the mouths of the lions, and so. Daniel was not harmed at all. Not even one hair on his head was harmed. Wow, that's amazing. And the next morning, King Darius, who hadn't been able to sleep the whole night, ran down to see if Daniel was okay. And he was so relieved to see that he was fine. And he realized that God, the God of Daniel was real and protected him. And he also realized that the other leaders were really jealous. And that's why they made that crazy law. And so he punished those other leaders and he told everybody about Daniel's God and how he had saved him from being eaten by the hungry lions. Wow, that's a really great story. Really, really great. But, but how am I going to remember? Well, I have this verse for you to remember. Here it is. It says, be alert and always keep on praying. Ephesians 6 verse 18. Be alert and always keep on praying. Ephesians 6 verse 18. That's a really handy verse because now I can remember always to keep praying. Yep, in the morning, in the evening and in the noontime. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, thank you for the story of Daniel and how he kept praying and praising you and thanking you even when times were bad, even when he got arrested for doing something that wasn't even wrong. And sometimes, Lord, we get blamed for things we haven't done or we get in trouble for doing the right thing. And Lord, help us to be just brave like Daniel was and to pray to you and find our peace in you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the story of Daniel and thank you that you're with us in the morning, in the evening, and even in the night. Amen. Amen. Have a good week, everyone. Bye. Bye, everyone.